Single drop smart tonight. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, my shit drops tonight. Fantastic, bro. Nah, it's just, it's, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm in the room. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't left the studio. I ain't left the studio yet. It might be. It might be some tornadoes going on out there. I wouldn't know. I'm just chill. I'm just here. That's it. Oh, are we on? Are we on? Are we on live? Like, are we broadcasting? Ah, man, so I can't even tune in and listen to it to to myself later on some like chauvinistic like. Oh, okay, okay. So you recording? We just ain't live, live. Word. I got you. I got you. Let's go. Yeah. For real. Let me get some explosions and some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Drop some bombs for me, bro. Yeah. And I'm just telling them, yo, just keep running. Just keep going. Just go! Just go straight! Head for the trees! Just the trees! You see the trees? Just keep going towards the trees! Here's <laughs> this summer. <laughs> Surgeon General is releasing a new song. <laughs> Get to the trees! July <laughs> July 2nd on all streaming platforms what's the song called oh the song is called the song is called uh, release date no the song is called get down featuring J-Rock Jones shout out to the homie J-Rock Jones It's actually, I'll call it at the, our, 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 it's, it's, it's get down, but I mean, essentially it's the you know, old Dirty Sundays anthem. They don't know yet, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they they don't know me. They, they, they don't know me yet. I'm still new. I only got a song out. So these are one of these joints that nobody's going to care about. But then eventually it's going to be played every Sunday. They're going to put, they're going to put, they're going to put some, some respect on my name. Exactly. That's what I call. That's what I like about this. I'm so used to being broke that I don't care. I'm not trying to make it. Yeah. No, no. I'm not doing that. I'm doing it because it's fun and it's a challenge and it's fun to try to write stuff. And you know, Dan, like I said, I'm used to being matter of fact, I think I think the money would change me. I think I would become some sort of douchebag. Taking Ubers everywhere to the corner. I don't even need an Uber, but I'll take it anyway. I'll be that type of jerk. You know what I'm saying? It's 
celebration. Bill's free. <laughs> It ain't my life. See, cause I, I've been I've been in a radio game a long time, and I want to do stuff that people normally don't do. So what I'm gonna do now is, it's what, what do they call this? Uh, uh, what's the word? This is a, a fancy word to think. Unorthodox. I like that. So I'm gonna take this interview, and I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk down. The hall, I just left the studio and uh, walking by the water fountain, looking outside. No, it hasn't started raining yet, but I'm going to do something that hasn't been done before. And I don't know. I don't want to make claims and say that it's ever been done before because I, I don't want to say that. I'm, I don't want to soldier boy this and say that I'm the only person that's ever done this. However, I can't find any record of. Nobody has ever done this before, believe me. This is the first time that anyone has ever done this in the recorded history of them. So, that long sentence being said, I'm about to take a piss live on your radio station. Do you hear that? That's the urine leaving my body via my penis. Do you hear it? It's in a bowl. I had to, I had to piss in a bowl because you couldn't hear it in the urinal. So, ah, there we go. I hope you didn't talk all the way through my piss. Damn, it's too late now, I'm out. This might be the greatest interview of all time. Believe me. And listen, you don't shake once, you don't shake twice, you shake three times. Because nobody likes the piss dribble on the front of their shorts. Like, try explaining that. You can't say, oh, I spilled a drink. No, because it's just little dribble spots. And in order for me to complete the process of relieving the urine from my body via my penis, I'm going to flush the toilet. There you go. They can't say that I did not give anything to society. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. I can't wait to hear the playback of this because that was actually pretty awesome. We do things that's never been done. And to answer a question that you never asked, no, I did not wash my hands because we're in we're in post COVID. I feel like I feel like me. Washing my hands after a piss is pointless. <laughs> it's already too late. Exactly. Yeah, can I also mention that, that the, the blood we smoked yesterday had me, like, super-duper high yesterday? I felt like you ever get so high that you start having panic attacks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you left yesterday, and I was just like, yo, I'm not feeling right. <laughs> so I said, let me go lay down. But before I go lay down, let me eat half of this bag of uh, cheddar cheese and caramel popcorn. And then wake up. But <laughs> I woke up with and like half a bag of, of cotton candy because fuck it, why not? That was a horrible decision. I woke up, my stomach was like, yo, you gotta poop right now. So that's none. It was it was well I had it, but at this point I was panicking. 
But you know, you know, sometimes you gotta make make that big old dump. You start sweating. <laughs> the shit sweats. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't poop on my way to the to the bathroom. It was one of those situations. Yeah. Yeah. So luckily, like nobody was in the hall at the time, because that would have been dead giveaway. They're like, oh, he's got this. That's not a number one. Yeah. <laughs> it was, what do they call it? it was a turtle head. It was just popping out like. Oh. Yeah, tuck it back in. Yeah, there's nothing but quality information going on in this interview. I can't wait to hear the playback. Word. Hey, that's cool. Hey, that's cool. Keep just, you know, it's fine. I know I'm not a priority. It's a, it's okay. Thank you for reminding me though. I'm the residual, I'm the residual uh interview. Word. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Might as well do something, right? <laughs> Somebody's out there. Oh, sugar, sugar shack. Let's let's keep this. Let's make sure we we clarify because I heard Shaq and was just like, wait, when does Shaq start doing a show on my network? That's a big chunk of change that I'm missing out on. Somebody did not tell me to drop the ball severely because I have some questions that I would like to ask Shaq. Like, hey, how did you even get in the studio? You're tall. I I, I did. I personally liked the uh, biological father track that he had. That that was a good joint. Shout out to Shaq. Yep. You know what I might do? I might roll up another blunt right here. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a panic blunt because that's how I felt. This is me calm down thing. <laughs> it was one of them joints like I had to uh I was I was trying to be uh, productive and I was setting up the show. For the afternoon, I said, "Let me set up the show now." So I'm like one of them joints where you set everything up, and you're over here looking at the computer screen, and it just starts to bother you. You're just like, oh, "Why is this? <laughs> like, why don't I like to look at this for too long? I don't feel well. <laughs> Maybe I should lay down." <laughs> That's how I felt yesterday as I as I circled back <laughs> my panic attack from yesterday's smoke session that we had. And we didn't even smoke half a blunt. That was the best part about the whole shit. Like, why do I feel so so anxious? <laughs> so what do I do? I go right back. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and roll up another blunt today and see if we get the same. <laughs> see if I can panic myself into another nap. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bypass the pop. The popcorn and now see no because it's Chicago style because apparently when you mix cheddar popcorn and caramel popcorn somehow that's Chicago somehow we gave that to Chicago we said sugar Chicago we'll call this Chicago style yeah in the same bag yep the more you know. This is Chicago popcorn, Chicago style. 
don't matter. We, Chicago's putting the flag in it. Nah, don't matter. You got that. You got that shit. What do they call that? <laughs> now that's some American shit. We should have already existed, but you know what? Nah, that's, that's America. <laughs> we gonna just go ahead and say that we discovered this. Cheddar and the cheddar and caramel popcorn got colonized. I want to send a shout out to Theo Lane who released a single for Father's Day. I am currently rolling up. I'm breaking down the weed on your little promo flyer. I appreciate you. For us to roll blunts on. Yes, we appreciate you. Y'all are the real MVPs. And you can't. Especially with the car. Now, what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to release a single, and I'm going to call it Roll Your Blunt On Me. And we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample of Pour Some Sugar On Me. We're just going to put a beat on it. But it's Roll Your Blunt On Me. We want to get high. I think so. I think we have something. No one. But anyways, uh, as I circle back around, my single drops tonight, I believe at midnight. So we are, it's called Get Down. J Rock Jones, the legendary J Rock Jones. It's gonna be a good time. So shout out to Bill Lane for making this one possible. Shout out to J Rock Jones. Shout out to the Crowbar. Shout out to Tom. Like I said, those that go to the crowbar and know the faces and know the people, you're going to love this track. It's like, uh, I call it the anthem because it's just got that club bomb, bomb, bomb vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? You can dance to it. You can chill. Well, thanks for your support. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Thanks for your hypothetical support. We appreciate you. No, but in all seriousness, I'm glad you don't have it because that means I fucked up somewhere by letting my music slip out. That's Classic shizzle right there. That just means you're not gonna play my song. <laughs> you must have learned from you must have learned from shizzle. <laughs> That's dope. It's all jokes. It's all jokes. I love you, shizzle. I love you, shizzle. What do you mean? Hey, I'm saying, 
I'm saying. You're going to scoop everybody. You're going to scoop them all. You could be like, you could be like, yo, I broke that track. Yeah, that one's going to be on the 40-year-old freshman album. And, uh, which is going to be, uh, we have several, 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 well, we have four albums. You're going to have 40-year-old freshman and then whatever year old sophomore and whatever year old junior. But what I like and what's creative is I'm going to do little projects beforehand. Like before 40-year-old freshman comes out, I got a project called The Orientation. You can't be a freshman until you know what I'm saying. You, you go graduate, to graduate, G. You gotta graduate. Graduate will be the last choice. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. You gotta go through the orientation. Okay, I'm like, yeah. see, I'm all over the place. Yeah, that would be the last. The place. And then, uh, of course, we'll have prom night and homecoming and detention. I like it. Maybe in school suspension. You know, I, I gotta, I gotta hey, be the creative. The best way to do it, how I know this. Especially like where you know you got so many artists releasing series or trying to like they start to release one and then things happen and they just never go back to that series. Just drop it, and then don't even think about how how long it's gonna go. Just just drop, and then if it matches with the last one, it matches. Kind of like Kanye, like he did a he did a, a college dropout, then he did late registration. Then it was graduation, and you know, then he went wherever he wanted to go from there. So it could be like that, like you just set people off, you know what I'm saying, with the beginning mode, and then as you, exactly. you know, progress, you got other things coming down the line, and then when you happen to go back to the, you know, the school series, you know what I'm saying, you you got a collection of other joint going on. So you got the fans the, that are about the school joint, the school fans. You got the Old school fans, you got the new modern hip hop song fans. So, yep. yo, I like it. I think it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be fun, and you're gonna be featured on there as well. Yeah, we got a song. We got a song that's unreleased. Yes, that's indeed. Dope. Yes, indeed. So yeah, I can't even play that, that one's called now. Phenomenal. So that's gonna be a good one. I love it. I'm excited. That's gonna have to. If I if I could if I could if I could interrupt you for just one second, yeah. I want to be. I, I, I said earlier I want to be unorthodox, so I peed. During, uh, excuse me, urinated. I urinated during this interview. Yeah, you could say pee. I'm not um, like political. I would also like to be continue to be unorthodox. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. Hold on. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay. See, okay. I stay quiet for that one, y'all. So y'all should give me some props for that. That's a good now. job. Hit the applause button. Hit the applause button yeah. or drop a box. They clapping now. That's right. That's right. All right. Calm down, y'all. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, we. Good. Got, I feel good now. Yeah. I feel good now. Cause they got to get the full extent of that, you know. Because you know, I I interrupted the last joint, so I'm like, yo, this one, y'all got to get the full extent. So I, they got everything, like the whole horn, like the the elephant. Yeah. You know, like I'm yeah. not saying that this might be the greatest interview of all time. Yo, but it just I am might, saying man. this might be the greatest interview of all. Time. It just might, and this was just, yo, this was just testing. So I was like, I'm going to post it anyway. Regardless. No, you post this. You post this and you tag me. Yeah. I mean, And come then on. You, I'll repost it and say it's the greatest interview of all time because you got to be able to, you got to, you got to. But why you gotta not? Be able but who's to, to say, that, who's to say it's not? Yeah. Who's to tell me it's not? Exactly. You can't tell me that. Like, what can you, what can you like rate it with? Like, how can you like, the, the, you can't measure it with. What what's your measurement? You know what I'm saying? Like what? You I think the see? measurement would be Ray J. I think Ray J's. Uh, I got an indoor pool. I got an outdoor pool. I got an indoor basketball court. My whole team's riding phantoms. That one is a legendary interview. Yo, that is legendary. Just but you just said it right here. So we just jacked his legendary. Yeah, yeah. And we put it we, in here. Yeah. So this is still a legendary interview. That was like a legendary. Uh, what do you name drop when you do show? Oh, yeah, I met such and such. I I ran into Shaq. At, at at the Win Dixie, that was one of that. That was my version of that. That's legendary. Yo, I ran into Method Man 
at a freaking football tournament in Plant City, bro. And that's real, too. Well, I just been one up. <laughs> Yo, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want to join in. <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay. All right, guys. Again, shout out to Theo uh, for this wonderful, uh, I want to say, insert. Because oh. it, it's it's uh, Theo Lane presents Mama, We'd Love You. Because he had done the Father's Day song. This is the uh, Mother's Day song that he released. Genius. Uh, featuring Kalia. Kalia Lene. Yeah. For, for those that know her off of The Voice, she's another one that's amazing. Amazing. So shout out to Theo. Oh. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been able to roll this blood properly. Word. Get my man's Word. in him. My man. Yo, shout out. Much like we said before. Yo, there you go. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause to Theo. I'm with that. I'm with that. Because if it wasn't for these MVPs, you know. They paved the way. They paved the way, and exactly. I appreciate that. Exactly, yeah. like, and that's what it is. If it like, wasn't for them, I couldn't be me. You know, we just showed their appreciation for the people. They planted know. the seed, and I and I and I grew. You know, and then you I broke grew. off some some tree, some leaves, and and rolled it up, and you know, lit yep. it in the air. You know, we it's a circle of life. It is. It's, it's a wheel of go, fortune. Yeah, it's gonna go it's right back faith. into the into the air. And a band of hope. I'm with it. <laughs> and you find your way. And a path unwinding, cir circle of life. Okay. Circle of life. Dang, yo. I feel yep. like I should be reading the lyrics to that song right now. I think I just did. All right. I, well, then we're good then. Now I'm, I'm on it. Now I'm, now I'm together. Because, like, I'm I'm legit looking for the lyrics of circle of life right now. Let's go. Uh, circle I, of on your life. hand, life. I'm going to be even more on our lap. Yeah. And the car could have burnt my mouth. Yeah, yo, that's what you As mean. I walk to the car to smoke the blood. Let's go. Live, live on my first interview. Yo, let's go. Yo, you know what? I got it. Hey, don't lie to you. I've been, inter I've, I've, I've been interviewed before, but I'm going to lie and say this is my first time. Yo, I'm going to tell you, bro. This yeah. is what I mean. Like, and you this... know what? You can tell everybody that it's I'm... my first interview, even though it's a lie. Even yo, it don't matter. Cause who's gonna prove you wrong? Exactly. This is the greatest interview ever. Yo, I don't really know is. if the beginning of this interview caught my voice. Yeah, but I'm a play it. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm looking at levels right now, and I'm like, cause I never connected this like this, like my phone into the Apollo, and I'm thinking like, if I'm could talk to you through the phone, maybe it picks everything up. But I'm like, maybe it's not picking me up. Maybe it's only picking up your voice. Oh, that would be horrible. Yeah, yo. So, 10 minutes in, you're going to be talking. And you may not hear me. I won't be hearing you. Yo, I yeah. So, that's how savage this episode is. <laughs> so, now, I got to light up just so I could calm down. So, my, I don't feel like I'm having a panic blood. So... While that's happening, we're going to play the the song that was supposed to be played in NY, but it wasn't. So it's going to be played right now. Which one? The star intro. Oh, the intro. Word. Okay. So that's going to be my my 30 seconds to go and get my blunt and do what I got to do. Oh, we could do, we could have two blunts going at once during the same interview. Exactly, bro. We're about to do it right now. Give me the greatest one minute. interview of Greatest interview of all time. Of continues. all time. Of all time. And on that note, this is that track we just made. Bounce. I don't hear it, but I'm on the phone. I'm not supposed to. Nah, you ain't gonna hear it. The people gonna hear it though. That's right. obstacles but what you do with those obstacles is you you, you eat them 
Because if not, they're going to melt. Oh, wait, nah, that's a popsicle. That's different. Popsicles are different. Shout out to popsicles. The banana flavors are the best, by the way. So I'm going to smoke this here blunt and try not to catch another panic attack. And if it is, it's the weed's fault. Because I don't want to just blame the weed. You just don't go out there and make assumptions and accusations. You need proof. Facts, I'm about to lay up. Let's be taking a, a deep breath. So y'all do me a favor for those that are listening. If you want to hear my music, I only got two songs. Go type in Surge in general. That's S-E-R-S. Okay, wait, let me get my, my call center. That's S like Sam. E-R-G like George. Uh. Space I N like Nancy. Space G like George. E N like Nancy. E. Let's go. R A L. That's Surge in general. To me, it's like a play off of the Surgeon General, you know, the, the guy who doesn't like you smoking cigarettes. But it's not like a surgeon because I, I'm not a surgeon. I'm just Surge. So, because I'm just Surge, that means I'm Surge in general. And on that note, we're clapping, bro. I appreciate this, bro. You got some loyal fans. Hey, man. Like, where would we be without our fans? It's like... The same place we are. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank every last one of you. <laughs> every single last one of you. Every last one of you. Facts. But yes, supporters definitely help pave the way. Because whether you support or not, it's all inspiring, man. That's what probably that's possibly what led to music. Like that's what I like is that I don't care if anybody listens. Yeah. <laughs> I just do it because to me music is fun. I love it. I but uh, since I started writing a year a year and a couple months ago, yeah, it's the challenge to me. I, I, I listen to something and I say, man, I kind of want to write something to this, but I want to give it some context. So yeah. I say, let me write this one about ODS, and that's what Get Down is about. So yes. shout out to Tom, shout out to uh, let me see Lulu and Indy. They're they're a couple that met there and got married there. Uh, shout out to uh, Stay Humble, which is a clothing line that's that that, that sells their merch there. Shout out to D- DJ Deacon, he's out there. Shout out to DJ uh, Casper and Fader, both of them. Nice. I mentioned all of these people and Tom. Nice. Uh, uh, and Soul Connection. Soul Connection is the break dancers that come out and they do their thing. In the circle every Sunday, so that's it's awesome. cool, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, bro. That's Being so able cool. to mention all these people and make it sound cool, and of course, J Rock Jones, he's on the second verse. Yeah, yo. It's, and uh, I mentioned him. Song. I had a couple of references to J Rock. Uh, <laughs> one was, uh, Mister. I guess you know, Mister Jones, Mister Jones and me. Yeah. That song, that classic hit from the '90s from Counting Crows. I, I, I mentioned that I said Mr. Jones because it's J. Rock Jones. You know, you, you gotta be clever you see? with now, this. Now, how many people? Technique. Now, so many people didn't know that until you mentioned that. This episode Absolutely. is definitely one of my all-time freaking greatest episodes, bro. And it's cool because I'm just talking to the homie. You know, what I mean? Word, there's, there's bro. no pressure here. There's no pressure here. That's why I can go pee during the interview because I'm that comfortable. You are such a great uh, host of a show that Thank I feel you. comfortable enough. To go take a piss. Exactly. Excuse, me. Excuse my language. I I apologize. I mean, removing I mean, the urine from my body via my penis. Uh, there you go. You know, for the I am no longer to, to from this day forward. I am no longer saying I'm going to pee. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna give I, you the scientific term. You you removing excrete or whatever. <laughs> and, and no excrement is taking a shit. Oh, okay. See, yeah. Urine. Urine is it's yes. pee. removing the urine from your body via the penis. I'm feeling it. Yo, I love doing interviews like this because we could like blaze up and like it just like this is gonna be a seven hour interview. Facts, bro. <laughs> 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 but you can go through 
Because if, if they didn't hear your questions, you're probably gonna have to you're probably gonna have to load the entire interview into the spot. Yeah. And then and then record your questions over the spot. Yep. Hopefully they can hear well, it. I, I know I, me being a tech guy, you know, because that's one of my hats. You know, awesome. Like what, uh, what is it? The greatest rapper on the planet. Yeah. That's one of that's one of my hats. There you go. <laughs> there you go. The other the other hat is. Radio guy who is the greatest radio guy of, of all time all in time, the history yo. of the universe. Known universe. That's known it. universe. I can't speak for the unknown universe. I can only speak for the the one you're aware of. The one I'm aware of. That's which it. is this one. That's so in this known universe, I am the greatest radio guy in the history of this known universe. That's how I feel. I, I yeah, like that. I like, that's how you yeah, feel. Yeah, you're yeah. the greatest of whatever greatest it is. Ever. <laughs> Ever, period. Regardless gotcha. of how you feel is what your business is. But Regardless here, of what ninety nine point nine percent of the people in this known universe think or believe, it doesn't matter. Nah, not at all. That's the best part of it, bro. Well, yo, I want to be able to. I got like a few more minutes, and I want to be able to bless the people with your tracks. So uh, before we go. We definitely need to get you to throw some shout outs and all that good stuff. I'm probably going to call you back anyway because I'm, I'm a cornball. Actually, I should be getting ready to make some moves, but I don't care. This is fun. <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> Can't, screw being responsible. Bro. Who like, wants to be responsible? Bro, like, we could straight up do this, like, every day just with our phone calls. <laughs> Big facts. No, uh, before... what song do you have? I don't. Did I even give you songs? I don't. Oh, I got. Well, this is already on, bro. This is already on. Like people right now could go download if you can and get down. Oh and... yeah, yeah. If you can, shout out to El Quote. Yeah. I uh, put this track out because I wanted to learn the the process and how to release music and yeah. songs and going through all the actual business aspect of it. And shout out to El Quote. He was helping me out. So. We released this track. It's uh, if you can. Word. And I got the other joint that's featuring Izzy, but that's his song. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm I'm showcasing two songs tonight. So, or this morning, or this afternoon, or wherever y'all listening to this. And uh, before we do that, it's gonna be if you can and get down. But it's only right to hear from the man himself, Surgeon General. So let the yeah. people know what we're about to put on for them. We're about to put on. This is if you can. By me, Surgeon General, featuring L. Quote. Shout out to Gino Lexus Talks. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Appreciate y'all, man. And shout yeah, out man. my man, Serge. We're going to holler at you later, brother. I'm going to call you back. And then I'm going to send this episode to you and everybody that's tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's G Talks, man. Uh, you tell them. Let's get it. General. See, we all want to be stars in our own movie. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But you also got to be trying your hardest to be the best supporting actor in the next person's movie. And that's what we're here to do. Shout to my man El Quote. Let's go. The story told from the rolling stone. It's that dude from the hole. Choose to get more. Tread the weather and stormy as weathers. 2020 survivors striving for survival with times written in the Bibles. Open up your eyes, bro. Time is close. Mind is focused on gold. It's hopeless for foes. Who's closest should know? The roaches who scatter with light. Heads I chatter on my with batter and night. Winds in the end. Cleaver lens, east to him. We taking rides, no surprise to the guys. Filling the vibes, willing to try. Finish the line, decline. Bottom to the top. A lot gotta go pop, got through the mob. Now they gotta no stop, now they gotta no stop. You know, life is just always a lot deeper than you know. A religion you cross paths from city to city.
Your status ever since Illmatic brave hearted. My sun shining when my day started. Daily departed. My Leo vibe next to Creole tribes. And look you dead in the face until I see your eyes. A young Picasso painting that picture. You trying to walk in my shoes, see if they fit you. They size 11. The flow of heaven, dream team, oceans 11. My mind cynical, then I call Surgeon General. Take them to school. I've always been a man of principle. You thinking OVO? I'm talking Ohio. Next to Virginia operation. My niggas coming from another country. If you ever try to take this from me. Gino Lexus, listening to Gino Lexus talks. It's my homie Surgeon General. That was Get Down featuring J Rock. If you can, featuring L Quote. We out.